Alabama has won the toss as you look at Gene Stallings seven years at Alabama one national title one SEC championship and six bowl appearances his team won the toss and they have deferred and for coach Carr and the Michigan Wolverines second season for him at Ann Arbor 17 and 7 his numbers and his football team when they took the field just a few moments ago Mike Gottfried and I looked at each other and said hey they seem extremely ready to play as you look at Butterfield and Shaw this one is underway from the two yard line it's Butterfield 10 15 breaks it across the 25 still on his feet and he's got one man to beat gets by the kicker and is tripped up actually by the kicker William Watts and there was a flag down back at the 33. So third down and they need three to pick up the first down. It's Clarence Williams in motion. Linebackers on the blitz. Ball is thrown and is dropped because Russell Shaw got taken away from the football by Samuel. Pressure up the middle and gets it away. Short kick Goss runs away from it very short and now takes a huge Alabama bounce back inside the 30 yard line and Mike he's going to wind up with a negative yardage on the puck. Well first of all Ron they were very fortunate it wasn't blocked. Kitchen safety valve again. Alexander hit and knocked down after a loss of three and it's Jared Irons. John Brock to attempt the field goal and this one will come from the 34 the far hash mark so a 44 yard attempt as Alabama tries to go on top early. Good pass kick is on the way plenty of distance and he got it. Of course he had Keith for preparing for the Sugar Bowl game uh, on Thursday evening. Running play, stuffed in the backfield. There's nothing there for Chris Howard. Ralph Staten is the man who came through to just mess up everything. Uh, a lot like Ohio State's defense, Michigan's coaches feel. From the shotgun, right over the middle, throws it complete. He's got Williams, open field, 25, and run out of bounds at the 27. And that's Kevin Jackson who pushed him out. Gracie sets to throw, looking, gets it out here to Shaw, and he crosses the 30 and is going to have the Michigan first down. Line to make the 46. Gracie gets his pass away, and nice catch at the 45. It's not going to be enough for the first down. Fernando Bryant was right there. What an effort. He was going to come and make the tackle headgear or no. It's been a heart of the years. Kitchens right over the middle, has it complete. Crosses the 30 yard line, still loses Vaughn, and they'll knock him out of bounds at the 34 yard line. You see number 96, that's William Carr. Running play to go straight at him, and here's Riddle. Breaks it open at midfield, and down to the Michigan 45 yard line. And it was William Carr who had a shot at him, but he couldn't hold on. And Alabama needs the 35 of Michigan. Right over the middle, has it complete. Not going to be enough for the tight end. A sword will make the tackle and Calvin Hall, the sophomore out of Gallatin, Tennessee. Again, Michigan spreads him out. Quick pass right over the middle, and they've got it to Charles Woodson. And Woodson will take it to the 32, the 33. Cedric Samuel makes the stop on him. If, if you got a good guy, imagine good. put him on the field. <laughs> Counter play. Hit at the line of scrimmage, and there's nothing for Chris Howard. Absolutely nothing. That's about 23, 24 yards. Greasy again. Quick pass over the middle. Got to complete to Clarence Williams. He's free. And look who comes from out of nowhere. That's a linebacker, Ralph Staten, and he'll catch him from behind. 45 yards in the pass play, so they overcome the big holding goal. Counter play, hit in the backfield. I mean, there's nothing for Clarence Williams. Michael Myers this time. Get their offense good field position. Alexander Curtis gets to the outside. 20, 25, and out to the 30-yard line. And Curtis Alexander, who was the starting tailback at the beginning of the year, so the question for Alabama today is Gene Stallings would rather line up and take it straight at them, but I don't know if they can do that against Michigan. Pass too low. Almost intercepted. Calvin Hall is the man that he wanted. Straight ahead. Nice run. Floyd 
puts a head down, going to wind up with 11 yards in the play. Myers makes the tackle. And off out of the shotgun is Williams. Great second effort across the 50. He's going to have the first down. They had him at the 50-yard line short of the first down. Marcus is a freshman. Greasy got a man open delivers it and has the strike at the 32 yard line as Sigler comes over to make the tackle Shaw to the top of your screen goes straight ahead with the hand off to Floyd and he's loose down to the 20 yard line and they're going to spot him down at the 19 Cedric Samuel took his feet out from under him Shea is in a tight end here comes the blitz he's hit from behind by Ralph Staten he never had an opportunity because he never saw him this is going to be a 44-yard attempt. Almost the identical spot where Brock kicked his for Alabama. Plenty of distance, and he is good. We're tied. Second down at about nine. That's Vaughn in motion. Play action. Kitchens sings it over the middle. Has Vaughn. That's good for the first down out at the 35-yard line. Reverse it. Got a man wide open. That's his tight end Rutledge. And he'll be knocked out of bounds by Taylor. And following a 13, maybe a 14-yard game. He told us yesterday, I want to prove my point. I want to earn my respect on that field on Wednesday. Hitchens is sacked and it's Glenn Steele. You gotta make him move around a little bit. You gotta put a little heat on him, and they did that the last series. Speaking of heat, this guy here can do it to you. It is incumbent upon Hayden Stockton to get a good one away. Not particularly high, it's returnable. And Woodson breaks it open. He's got one man to beat. And Stockton will push him out of bounds just across midfield. Loose recovered by Michigan, and Mark Campbell was right there. The ball fell right in front of him. Second down and long as Kitchens play action. Gets his pass away, and this one is intercepted. That's Charles Woodson as he just threw it up for grabs. These defensive backs are too talented just to throw it up for grabs out there. You're going to get it picked up. Counter play. Williams going to be knocked down for a loss, and it's Michael Myers. John Copeland, the uh, lineman, had left Hines and gone on to Alabama and had success, so he wanted to do the same thing. Gracie set to throw. Middle screen is there. Clarence Williams gets a block, and he's going to be tackled short of the first down by about a yard. It's Sigler who's holding on for dear life. It's going to be a 44-yard attempt. Everything has been right in this spot of the field. Just put a circle there. And it's a fake right up into the middle, and they break it. That's Greasy. At the 10, first and goal, Michigan. 78 to Gozell Powell. Time to step up big if you're Alabama. There's the counter play almost into the end zone. Chris Howard will take it to the two. Now they got none. Greasy. Looks for the end zone. Nothing there. And he was knocked out of bounds, and the ball goes out at the five-yard line. So this attempt right here is going to be 22 yards to try to put Michigan on top by a field goal. He got it. They, they don't look like they're going to go down on a knee. Looks like they may go for one more. Right? Yes, they are. Kitchens goes down, and it's Bowens who gets him, and that is the end of the first half. Score Michigan six, Alabama three. Now let's join Chris Fowler for the new Dodge halftime report. Gene Stallings paces the sideline. His final half as the head coach at the University of Alabama. Kitchens dumps it out, has it complete to his tight end, and Hape will take it out to the 35, and that's good for the Crimson Tide first down. How tough was it for him growing up in your shadow? Well, it wasn't tough for him because we never put any pressure on him to do what I did. I told him simply to find something that he enjoyed doing, and I would help him. Greasy counter play. Got an opening. Has five. 
first hand, almost breaking it free is Chris Howard, all the way out to the 35-yard line. Andre Short tripped him up. Greasy short drop. Getting pressured by Hood, gets it away, and it's caught. That's Knight. And Knight knocked out of bounds. What a grab. Cedric Samuel makes a tackle on him, but the freshman, what a huge one. Howard in motion, empty backfield, pressure is on, and they throw the screen, and that's actually a lateral, and he throws back to Greasy, and he falls down. Good heavens at the 37-yard line. And, folks, there was a wall that you could have used in Berlin out there. You see Alabama tight at the line of scrimmage. Here they come with another blitz. Great protection, and now it breaks down, and it's Paul Pickett who will get him the second time officially that uh, the Michigan quarterback has been sacked today. Again, Alabama comes up with a big defensive stop when they need it. Goss signals for the fair catch at the one yard line. What in the world is he thinking? One of six today. Kitchens. Gets it. He's got him. And Marcel West dropped the football. Good heavens. That could have been a 98-yard touchdown. You get exposure and talk to people about Outback all, everywhere, from California to Florida to New York. And, and we've been really, really fast with this kind of uh, day, and the game's terrific. And we're just looking forward to more and more of this kind of success as years move forward with this bowl game. Well, let's see. You know, Ty Streets has only caught one ball today. They may try to find him. There's the pressure, and he knocks the ball loose, and Greasy does the only thing he can do, and that is fall on it to keep Alabama from capturing it. Known to be one of the fastest blimps flying, has been clocked at speeds exceeding 70 miles an hour. We look forward to seeing the blockbuster blimp at future events here on ESPN. Captain Terry Dillard piloting that one today, and he's got some great looks. New quarterback in the ball game for the Alabama Crimson Tide as Riddle takes the ball and comes out close to a 10-yard gain. It's Riddle in motion, top of the screen, and it's quarterback draw. And boy, Mr. Godfrey, you are exactly right. They, they've had a quarterback who was doing the two-step, and now they've got somebody who's doing a jitterbug, so they're going to have to change some things defensively. Hopefully they can ignite your offense now. They tried that against Mississippi State. Of course, Mississippi State held on and, and beat the Alabama team. Warren Fowles, sophomore out of Midwest City, Oklahoma. And of course, that is a suburb of Oklahoma City. Keeps this one, and he'll pick up the first down. He lost the ball, made it exciting at the last minute. First down, Alabama. They trail it 6-3. Just under four minutes to play, third quarter. Faust rolls the ball out, turns the corner, has five, has ten yards, and who does he get belted out of bounds? Charles Woodson. Well, that's not a good sign when your head's down. Here's the option to pitch Riddick. Has five, has ten, he's loose, down to the 30-yard line. It is first and ten, Alabama. Marcel West, one of the wide receivers, and Michael Vaughn with really good blocks. Riddle, 61 yards now on 11 attempts. They go back to the open side. There's the pitch. Riddle, nice job defensively. That is David Bowens, who stayed home on the wide side of the field. Second down and 15. They need to take it to the 20. It's Vaughn in motion. They pitch it back to him. And now here comes the reverse. Marcel West. West back into the middle. Loses the football. And Michigan has recovered at the 30. Michigan can get their defense over the sideline and make some adjustments right now I'm talking to them. Crazy gives to Clarence Williams, breaks out of the pile, and he's loose. 50, 45, at the 40, and going to be tackled from behind by Fagan. That is good for 29 yards. Here they come. Shaw in motion. There's the pressure. Look in, and here's a flag. and he has it. He's definitely been a great success and great uh, asset to Alabama. And, and I uh, have all congratulations to him and, and the career he's had here. And uh, like I said, you know, you see most of the guys here and everybody seen to, you know, mm -hmm. enjoy being around him and just love the type of atmosphere. So if you can't get the offense on the field. 
Makes can't no score doubt. no points, right? Uh, so thanks a lot, Eric. Appreciate it. Yeah. Good luck to you in the NFL. Happy, and tell everybody happy New Year too. I sure will. Prior to the snap, contact by the defense, offside, five yard penalty, first down. Straight ahead, they give it to Floyd. Breaks it out of the tackle, down inside the 10, and he's to the seven yard line. Carl Ravitch, let's check with you again. Running play, hit in the backfield. Chris Hood comes free, and he'll knock him down for about a four, maybe a five yard loss. They need to take it to the five yard line to pick up the first. That's Campbell in motion. Greasy, hit, and the ball is intercepted by Rod. And Rod may score. There are no flags on the field. We'll count it off. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Dwayne Rod. Good point. Here comes the safety blitz this time. Pass in the flat. They got it complete to Shaw. And he will be pushed out of bounds just short of the 30-yard line. That's to Shea Townsend who pushed him out. Second and short, and Greasy will take it straight ahead. Yep, you can see the movement on both sides. A lot of shifting going on by Michigan. Back to the snap. Defense in the zone. Outside, offense move. The rematch. Number one Florida State against number three Florida. Greasy has it complete and is going to be pushed back. Michael, let me ask you something. Were they going to run a hook and ladder? And they were down and had to come from behind in that game. Lawrence Williams bounces it outside. You can see the pursuit by Fagan, and he just stiff arms him down and has the first down. Whether you're going to take the field goal if you don't get the first down, a lot of decisions for Lloyd Carr. Gracie sets, looking long for the end zone, and just beyond the hands of Marcus Knight. 48-yard attempt, Mike. Greasy to holder. Now, they had a fake earlier, but I don't think the situation would avail itself here that they would call that. Down. Don't know if he's got the distance. Nope. Short and to the right. Michigan has to adjust to Freddie Kitchens being back on the field. Meanwhile, the clock runs. We're about to go under seven minutes to play in this ball game. Alabama up by four. Kitchens from the shotgun. Gets his pass away and almost intercepted as it was batted by Tommy Hendricks. Wow. You're, ho you're hoping to pick one up. Gracie sets in the pocket. Great protection. Got a man open. Juggles the ball and it came down with a Shaw. Had it, lost it, and had it again. You see the safety creeping up into your picture. They pick him up right over the middle. He's got Shaw. And if he breaks away, he's going to score. And it's Bryant holding on for dear life. Well, we've just gone under five and a half minutes left in our ball game. Michigan, Clarence Williams hit in the backfield. Myers is there first, and then Rudd. we got a big game today, Kansas State. Alexander turns the corner. Hang on, and he ran into his own man. Unbelievably large, that desire. Drop play, Sean Alexander. Five. 10, 15, he's off. A tackle just across midfield, and that was a huge nail in the coffin as far as Alabama is concerned. Vaughn in motion, top of your screen. And a draw play, Sean Alexander. Got more speed than you think, and Michigan just found out he will score. <laughs> 46 yards. And there finally is the smile. Eugene is going to win his 70. I would have eaten it, would have kicked the field goal, and, and you know, could have had a totally well, different you're result. You're always trying to make plays, though. And the, 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 the end result is Michigan didn't do a very good job of him on the blitz on third down by Alabama. Greasy goes out of bounds at around the 43. Sounds like an oversimplification, but you have to know how to win, and that's one of the things that they have done at Tuscaloosa for a long time. Deep over the middle, Clarence Williams wide open. It'll be first and goal, Michigan at the nine yard line, 41 yards in a pass play. Greasy gets it out in the flat. That's Shaw at the five, he will score. Two point conversion coming here, and here comes the blitz, and Greasy's pass incomplete. 
And now here comes a late flag. And here comes the running play, and Floyd will take it in. 17 to 14. Goss got it at the 42 yard line. Down on one knee, and that should be the final play of the 1997 Outback Bowl here in Tampa. 16 down to 15. Gene got a partial bat. <laughs> Gonna give him a walk off. That's the end of the ball game. So that's the end of the ball game. Gene Stallings wins his 70th game as the head coach at the University of Alabama. Final score 17 to 14. Uh, it's a great way to go out as a coach. A lot of coaches don't get to pick the way they want to go out. Gene Stallings did. Well, once again, our final score, Alabama 17, Michigan 14. Now for Mike Gottfried and Kellen Winslow, Ron Franklin saying so long from Tampa. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Now let's go to Carl Radish.